What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. It'll be even a beautiful, beautiful day today. Man, we get more news and news left and right. I'm turning into a news station. Call me NBC Nightly News. Anyways, I'm very excited for the game. I am still playing MLB The Show 20, and man, oh man, every day I'm playing, I'm just like, ah, I know what's coming. The game is coming. Let me know down in the comment section what you're looking forward to the most in MLB The Show 21. And we have more information today. A bunch of articles went live today. Must have been, you know, some sort of lockdown until today. You saw articles on IGN, you saw articles on Vice, and a few other websites basically talking about all the new features in MLB The Show they've talked about so far. And the main big thing that they've been talking about is the brand new stadium creator, something that they touched in one of the IGN videos. They've been working on creating a stadium for over five years with one guy solely dedicated to it for the past two years to really bring that creative stadium experience fully into the game, fully optimized, and fully edible with over 1,000 different objects and everything that you can edit, which is phenomenal. We also got the Xbox, what a look, gameplay looks like on the Xbox Series X, and boy, does it look as beautiful as ever, running at a smooth 60 FPS. It doesn't sound like this game this year is going to be able to go 120 FPS that was talked about with the next-gen consoles, that they have the capability of doing 4K at 120, but that's solely at the game developer's discretion, how they think the game is going to perform, and it sounds like we're not going to get that 120 hertz, but we're going to get that 60 hertz at 4K and that 60 hertz at 1080, which is a big difference. So definitely if you have a outdated monitor TV, I would highly suggest you get ready to upgrade for the next gen consoles. Seeing the gameplay on Xbox, just looks like just the PS5. Just absolutely phenomenal. Love it, love it, love it. You can tell they really worked hard on upgrading all the graphics for the next game. And they also, during this interview and a bunch of other stuff, they touch on a bunch of different subjects, but one of the main subjects that they touch on is the creative stadium. We keep on talking about creative stadium. It's been a mode highly requested, and we finally, finally get it in the game. And they even tease about it as well on one of the written articles that you will be able to use your creative stadiums online play, which is going to be a lot of fun. Obviously, they also touched on there is anti-griefing and there's a bunch of set presets for wall heights and dimensions, which makes sense because you don't want to face somebody that's got 22 feet high walls all the way around the ballpark at 500 feet dimension. Good luck hitting a home run. You probably never will. So... There is going to be some griefing aspects in there. There's probably going to be able to batter eye and stuff like that too, where you can't abuse that. And I assume people will still try and do it. They'll find some ways around it and they'll have to patch it later down the road. That probably uh, people love to grief and with the show. We know there's a bun dance and other stuff. Anyways, I'm going to rant about that for hours, but it's going to be a lot of fun to be able to see a unique variety of stadiums. I don't think we're going to see ship it stadium as much anymore. Hallelujah. Everyone's fucking cheering right now. No more ship it. Well, minimal ship it because everyone's going to be creating that stadium if they're on the next gen console. I'm really curious. They did not touch on it. If next gen creative stadiums can be played on the PS4s or the Xbox One, the older versions, creative stadium is exclusive to the next gen consoles due to the limitations of all the processing power behind the next gen consoles. So, will I be able to go into ranked seasons with my creative stadium and have face a PS4 opponent or a Xbox One opponent? Or am I going to be, or is it just, you know, it's going to be able to load it no matter what? How is that going to affect the performance of stadiums? We've seen Major League Baseball stadiums struggle with performance on the PS4 and the PS4 Pro, especially Minute Maid. Holy cow, it's terrible. Just a lot of lust frames and just feels really glitchy. Hitting there has been always hard to do in the online play with a frame running. So it'll be interesting to see how the performance and how they balance all that out, especially with cross play as well. How is that going to affect everything? But yeah, you can see in this video here, man, so much creative stadium stuff. You can adjust the walls, the backgrounds. They're talking about you can take pieces from other stadiums. You want to combine Wrigley and another stadium, you can do that. There's so much you can do, and there's presets there. So if you don't want to start from scratch, there's 150 around 150 presets. It is going to be so much fun to build. I can't even get so... I'm so hyped for this. I'm so hyped that creative stadiums in the game franchise mode you can use it for obviously and now you're going to be able to take most of the creative stadiums to online play minus some griefing stuff so that's always a good thing for them to just you know get those griefers out of there the bunt dancers and the bun ha bun happy people i don't know anyways but along with that news we also are going to start to find out more information about the ball player they have redesigned road of the show they had a roadmap a few years ago of revamping road of the show they finished their roadmap and it sounds like they want to update that roadmap again. And starting with that update of the roadmap, you're going to be able to take your road to the show player 
into diamond dynasty they're still going to deep dive on how that's all going to work there's actually a dev stream today i'll cover that in tomorrow's video but there's just such a wealth of information there you can have two-way players and everything like that how's that going to affect stamina you know if you're pitching with your creative player once every five games does he regain stamina when he's like say in the outfield like a Shohei Otani, how is that going to work? The salmon is a huge thing in MLB the show 20 Diamond Dynasty. So how's that gonna transfer over? So, but yeah, the ball player fully revamped of the show. And soon we get franchise information, March to October. They touched in the video on IGN that they reworked every single game mode in the game, including franchise and March to October. Diamond Dynasty, they streamlined a lot of the programs and everything else. And then you got the revamped ball player, which is road to formerly road to the show. So much graphical inf information. There's just so much stuff that I keep saying so much information to come. A lot of fun times ahead, but yeah, I'll be covering more of this information in further videos. So definitely a place to look and let me know down in the comment section, your opinions on everything that's going on right now. I'm excited. Build up that hype. You know, it's next gen. They've really refocused on upgrading the fielding and everything else in the game it just i mean i could talk about this for hours how excited i am i guess i'm partially too i'm just burnt out of mlb the show 20 i'm ready for something new appreciate all the love and support like i said i do stream daily well five days a week on my twitch channel link is in the description you want to follow me there play a lot of mlb the show sometimes we play some other games randomly but mlb the show 21 coming up be on the lookout we also do have an mlb the show 21 digital deluxe giveaway going on the twitch channel so be sure to tune in Thanks so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure that I leave that thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, enjoy the content. Make sure that sub button. Road 3000 subs before. And believe the show 21. Can we hit it? Have a good rest of your day. Peace out. Bye.